Welcome back. You're watching Grizz News. My name is Vince Alcon. On today's local news, the Alamosa water supply is under scrutiny. Treatment of the water is becoming expensive and more rigid standards are coming into play. Voters may decide the fate of the San Luis Valley water supply in the ballot this November. The city of Alamosa was forced in building a water treatment plant several years ago due to arsenic standards rising. With the standards set to rise, the city may be forced to renovate its water treatment facilities. If voters are successful, the process could change the way water is managed, not only in San Luis Valley, but in the state. On to regional news. Two transportation workers helping mitigate the risks of avalanches on Loveland Pass have been injured. Both of the workers were taken to Denver Hospital. One of the workers was seriously injured. The two workers were injured when a mortar shell used to clear snow and induce snow slides went off prematurely. 26 people have been killed in eight different western states this season, according to the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. The latest fatality occurred on Sunday at Paulina Peak, Central Oregon, when a snowmobiler was caught in a slow slide. And on to national news. 24 people have been killed and more than two dozen people are still missing in the Washington mudslide, officials say. A rural mountainside community, northeast of Seattle, Snohomish County, has been devastated. The mudslide is said to cost an estimated financial loss of $10 million. Seven, of, seven million of that is in structural damage and more than three million is for their contents. Washington has called for aid of the 30 families without housing and personal goods. Governor Jay Inslee requested federal aid that will help for funeral costs, mental health care programs for survivors, volunteers, community members, and first responders. And on international news, if the world doesn't combat global warming, the result will be catastrophic, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has stated. The most in-depth report to date on global warming and its impact has been produced by United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Changes. According to the report, humans are to blame for global warming and all the impacts it has on the world. If the world doesn't cut pollution of greenhouse gases, the effect could spiral out of control, the head of UN scientific panel stressed. The way we live our lives change will change dramatically. Certain animal species will go extinct, wildfires will become more common, sea levels and flooding will rise due to melting ice, and we will be unable to grow crops. Everyone will be affected by this. It's time to act now. Thanks for watching Grizz News. Tune in next week for more news. My name is Vince Alcon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Goodbye.